Hello gamers, Tony here from the ClassicLeague.com Gaming and Electronic Podcast and the Yoush Network and today I'm reviewing a little gem from EA Mobile called Mass Effect Infiltrator for the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. Well, Mass Effect 3 was released today, it's March 6, 2012, but EA Mobile also released this game to coincide on the iOS platform. Well, if you remember that junk Mass Effect title that was originally released on iOS, well, those days are long gone, and Mass Effect is now officially redeemed on the mobile platform, thanks to EA Mobile handing off the work to the same developers that brought us Dead Space on the iOS platform. So let's take a look at this game and see what we like and dislike in this review. Mass Effect Infiltrator brings us a brand new storyline in the series, and that by itself will often be enough to get any Mass Effect fan on board. You play as Cerberus agent Randall Esno, who captures aliens for secret experiments at a space facility. Well, when he returns to the facility one day, he finds a director who's trying to take over and has evil plans. So Randall tries to rebel to bring Cerberus down, help save the facility, and help the Alliance. Let's talk about the gameplay a bit. The game is a cover-based shooter with minimal RPG elements sprinkled in. But for the overall feel, fans of Mass Effect 2 and 3 will feel right at home. There are 9 chapters in the game and each chapter is broken into a variety of checkpoints. Now this sounds like a lot but the game goes relatively fast, but it's pretty decent length for a mobile platform. You play as the preset character Randall as already mentioned, and there are no physical customizations or personalization character options, but you can upgrade Randall's weapons, abilities, armor, biotics, and melee. Now, upgrades come from completing chapters and gaining credits, they're the currency of the game. You also collect intel throughout the game, which can be linked to your Mass Effect 3 profile on the console or PC to give you more galactic presence, or can be traded in in the mobile game for more credits. Now, the developers did a great job of incorporating gameplay mechanics for fans of the series to feel right at home, especially in the area of melee and biotics combat and upgrades. It's all present here, from the punch, push, and charge melee attacks, to the pull, leash, salvo, and storm biotic attacks. The HUD of the game is absolutely fantastic. Character movement is fluid and you can easily access and select abilities and biotics from the top left and right parts of the screen, and attacking enemies comes easy as tapping on them, but it's all very, very fluid. This is a bit more of action title than its console counterparts, so it's a bit more linear and less exploration based. You can also access a Galaxy at War item in the pause menu screen, which wasn't very applicable to me since I'm not playing Mass Effect 3, but the Galaxy of War screen allows you to utilize the in-game items while connected to the origin servers to help your galactic readiness rating while you play Mass Effect 3 on the PC or console. So there is some cross-pollination between the two games, which is kind of cool. My only complaint in this game, as far as the gameplay is concerned, is that the AI feels a bit unbalanced at times. Sometimes they were overpowering me, other times they were standing right beside shooting me and it had no, no effect at all. And so I do want to stress that that's only occasional, but it was present. The graphics are absolutely beautiful. The environments and cutscenes look great, and I'm just continually amazed at how much they squeeze out of these little devices. I mean, I played this game on an iPod Touch 4G, which in my mind is kind of outdated with the single processor and things, but it had no crashes, no freezing, or any issues at all. It all ran really smooth. I mean, the most slowdown I experienced was just a very tiny bit when there are more than five enemies on the screen at once in combat. As far as controls go, I mentioned the controls a bit in the gameplay part of this review, so I just want to reiterate that the HUD was very well designed to make the controls easy. You can switch between enemies, chain together attacks, and earn style points with ease because the controls are very well mapped, responsive, and don't try to restrict movement with virtual analog sticks. You're kind of free roaming, similar to Dead Space on the iOS. It can get a little buggy at times when there's a lot of action and the controls can get a bit confusing in those parts, but those are few and far between. 
In conclusion, I wondered if this title would feel like a cash cow for EA to gain some more money on the release day of Mass Effect 3. Instead, they shattered my expectations and delivered a unique title and storyline to the iOS platform that any Mass Effect fan will want to play. Although it's not perfect and has a very small set of shortcomings in different areas, I highly recommend this game. The developers of Dead Space iOS deliver once again and give us this wonderful gem to take with us on our iOS devices. If you're a Mass Effect fan or not, I recommend you picking up this one today. It's a universal app that's only $6.99 in the App Store and it's available now. Thanks so much, make sure you like this video and subscribe.